Uh, greetings again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We're coming back here at On the Wall of Ministries here out of this Virginia. We're coming to you at our worship hour. We thank God for those who joined us at our Sunday school hour. And we're asking now we're going to have a, a worship song and then we're going to get into our morning message. Morning, everyone. We try to sing. There is power in His blood. Okay. Would you be free from the burdens of sin? There is power, power in, in the blood. blood. Power in the blood. blood. Would you oh evil victory win? There is wonderful. wonderful Your love, our love is here to stay. 
what you find now, mm -hmm. and what you feel, feel now, I know. and what you know uh, to, be to be real. real. <laughs> it's time to be real. <laughs> All of a sudden, though, I'm not be sure real. of that's how that's to turn it off. Real. I was sitting, I gotta turn this off. This lady said that I couldn't be saved <laughs> and I couldn't be listening to this song, so I could not turn it off. But somehow, this secular song played. That morning, that Friday morning, it played into uh, my, my inspiration to get this message this Amen. morning. Okay. My Bible tells me that all things work together for the good of those who Amen. love the Lord and to them that are called to according to his purpose. Right. So some, I'm receiving it. I ain't worrying about what right. she said. I'm going to receive this, and I'm bold enough to say that God's will and what he will not do and what we will not say, I'm going to use what the inspiration that God gave me, and I'm going to use it anyway. Come so on. this morning, I want to talk to you on church. It's time to get real. Amen. Get it's real. time to be real. So real. let us bow. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to come. And, and as we come, Lord, I ask that you touch your dear servant. Mm. Touch my lips that I may boldly say those things you have laid upon my heart. Lord, we need you right now. If there's anything like sin, cast it away far from the east, hills, from the west. We need you right now, Lord. Preach, O oh Holy Spirit. Preach where ears can hear, heart can understand, and we'll be able to have lives changed. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. In Christ Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Church, it's time to be real. You know, as I think about it, I've been guilty many times of making the very statement to folks uh, that has been going to church and somehow I looked at some folks that had that outward uh, expression somehow um, when, when, when they started talking about uh, what they were doing and how their lives were being uh, impacted you know I, I, I told them this, you know, you, it's, it's time for you to get real mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I said it in, in judgmentally Right. And, and, and we're not really thinking. It's time for church folk to get real. Mm -hmm. and, and not based on performance or not based on, because I don't know what's in your heart. Right. How can I tell you it's time to get real when I don't know what's in your heart? Right. And then I realized that being real is not about how we portray ourselves in public. It's how we portray ourselves before God. Said preacher. You know, and it's about how we portray ourselves before him. You see, we can come to church many yeah, times God. puffed up, ain't got no righteousness inside of us yeah, except so. for self-righteousness. Yeah, so. And then we find ourselves judging others. And yep. then we can't approach God that way because God don't want you coming like no, that. No. To approach God, to get some results, you got to come to God right. Man. You know, I ain't saying that you got to be righteous and all right and no sin in your life, but there is a way to come to God. Yeah. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, if you would confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, thou shalt be saved from out of the heart man believes in the, sal in the righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Mm -hmm. See, salvation ain't about being right. Mm -hmm. No. Salvation is about coming to God right to make you right. To make right. you See, you right. got to come right. Yeah. How do you come to God? Humbly. humbly. Right. Come humbly yeah. before God. Yes. Not like I know everything, I've yes. done everything yes. right. Yes. But we got to come before humbly. Him humbly. But when we come right, God will make us That's right. right. Yes, He will. What example do I have? What about the two thieves on the cross? Come on. Talk about the two thieves on the now. cross. It says in uh, Luke 23rd chapter, verses 39 and 43, one of the malefactors which hanged on the cross with him said, If you be the Christ, yes. save thyself and yes. us. Huh? And, but the other one answered and rebuked him and said, Doth not you fear God, yeah. seeing that thou art the same condemnation? Mm. And we indeed justly, and we perceived in due reward of our deeds. Mm -hmm. But this man has done mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, mm, remember me yeah. that thou comest into thy kingdom. Yeah. And Jesus said unto him, today you shall be with me yeah. in paradise. Yeah. It's not about the guilt or the innocence. No. Both of them was guilty. Yeah. But cause of this one that was guilty decided to come to God right. Sick. He came to God. He said, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. We guilty. This man yeah, ain't done a thing. See, it's about how we come to him. Yeah. So my focus on being real is about how we come to Christ. Yeah. Now, you got to be real when you come to Christ. We are in this hurting world. Hurting is all around us, in our families, in our homes, in yeah. our government, even in our churches. You cannot escape 
trials and tribulations that come along with this thing we call life. Come and on. my issue is that hurt will continue if we don't be real about this thing. Yeah. And I, I, I like one of these old songs we used to sing back when my mama was around. He said, not my mama, not my father, but it's me, oh Lord, Amen. standing in the need of prayer. prayer. Not the preacher, not the teacher, but it's me, oh Lord, standing, Lord. standing in the need of prayer. Not the father, but not my mother, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. See, we are standing in the need of prayer, not my mother, but it's me standing until we come to God crying out. It's me that is in pain. Yes, it's Lord. me that's suffering. Yes. It's me that is hurt. It's me that I feel the shame. It's me that feel rejected yes. in my depression, in my guilt, it's in me. my need of prayer. His power is limited to work in our lives yes, Lord. unless we cry out to him. Mm -hmm. huh? But when we start confessing this thing, when we start crying out to him, it's me that stand in the need of prayer. God will answer our prayer. Church, it's time for us to get real. Yeah. This is the real church God is looking for. God, go all the way back to 2 Chronicles. Y'all always talk about 2 Chronicles 7. 714. He said that the Lord appeared to Solomon that night and said to him, I heard your prayer. I heard, I heard your prayer. I heard and it. I have chosen this place for myself mm. as a house of sacrifice. Yes. Look what he said. If I shut up heaven and there be no rain, if I command the locusts to devour the land, if I send pestilence among my people, watch out now, mm. if my people. Yeah. That are called by my name Amen. shall humble themselves and and, 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 and pray and, and seek my face and turn Amen. from their wicked ways. Look what he said. Then Amen. will I hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sin and I'll heal the land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears shall attend to your prayer that you made in this place. So only thing God is asking us to do is to be able to call out to him in our time of need. Yes. The only way to get results is to be able to have some real prayer. Amen. Real prayer means that there is no transparency. Mm -hmm. You have transparency in your prayer. Transparent prayer is a prayer that uh, in full confidence and our hope is solely in the Lord and our confidence has nothing hid from him. Mm -hmm. See, you can't come to God asking him when you don't want to expose your shame. On, you can't come to God asking for help when you don't want to expose your vulnerabilities. All right. See, all of us need to come to God in a vulnerable oh, state. I can't do nothing to help myself. Uh -huh. I done cried. I done did everything I can do. I ain't got nowhere else to turn but you. And that's why wow. God wants us to yes. be able to transparent yes. prayer doesn't mean we perfect. Right. Transparent prayer means that we allow God full disclosure yes. about all of our shortcomings and, and, and look, as if he didn't know. Come right. on now. Ain't that the way we tell him everything yes. as if he didn't, didn't know. know. No, I'll be, it'll be in your transparency where God will guide you. See, yep. he, see when you become weak, then I become strong. Yes. God comes into yes. the, the no. equation. See, yes. many of us, in these moments, we are all asked to do things that are difficult. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say I'm sick. Right. It's hard to say I'm hurting. Right. It's hard to say I've been hurt. Right. It's hard to say I can't do nothing about it. Yes. But when God allows us to get into that transparency, to come in and, and I'm a Lord, I'm going to let you know everything about me when I'm going through. Amen. See, when we have wrongs, We've been challenged to commit to change them and move forward to God's best for our lives. In places of hurt, we'll be challenged to get some forgiveness and sometimes give some forgiveness. Amen. Sometimes tough love is required. God gives us tough love during those transparent prayers. I encourage you now not to be fearful. See, vulnerability with God gives him the reign over our lives. Amen. When we give up to God, that's when he takes over our lives. Always talking about let go, let God. That ain't easy, is it? No, it's not. We're always talking about it, but you can't let go unless well, you turn it over to Jesus. Yeah. See, the vulnerability means what? Letting go and yeah. letting God. Yeah, Transparent prayer is uh, always allows God's extraordinary power uh, uh, to be able to transform us and work in our life. Mm -hmm. None of us are perfect, but transparency allows us to trust and rely on God. Mm -hmm. And also, 
it helps us to open up to one another. Amen. True. See, we, we, we don't open up to one another. A lot of our help, God already sent. Mm -hmm. God sent the help, but we won't open up Say. to the one that God sent to us because we are so personable, oh. we are so private. Oh. And, but we need, if you want help, you need to cry out. <laughs> and as you walk with integrity and honesty, always remember your hope rests in him. Yes, Lord. Then as followers of Christ, we are called to be real with our brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And mostly with what? Ourselves. Yeah. See, this transparency allows us to come alongside each other to encourage us, encourage one another, and to show accountability. Yeah. If your sister is wrong, be accountable and tell your sister she's wrong. Amen. Don't just walk along beside your brothers and sisters and think that not saying anything is the right thing to do. Don't you want your sister to not to be hurting? Don't you want your brother to not to be hurting? Amen. So don't take the accountability yeah. and say, brother, I'm your brother, I'm your sister, and, 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 and I want to be able to help you get through this situation. Amen. See, what is transparency? And what is it? Transparency. Transparency ain't pride. Mm -mm. Trying to make everybody conversation about you. Right. Transparency is about humility. Mm. How inviting others to know you as you truly are. Right. See, can right. you imagine if we got people to know us as we truly are? Right. They are able to help us. Right. Can't nobody help you when you are hiding behind right. that truth being right. hid. Right. That you think somebody gonna know who what I'm going through. Somebody gonna know that I'm hurt. Somebody, everybody's hurt. Right. Amen. Everybody going through some stuff. Amen. See, transparency is not a time to slander somebody or gossip. Amen. Soon as somebody tell you something, you running and tell it. Right. See, transparency is about living what in integrity. Yeah. When somebody tells you something, you can keep it with integrity, right. knowing that that person's reputation, that person hurt. Right. It's in your hands. Yeah. People got hurt and other folk hurt in your hands and you going around sharing it with everybody else. Right. You got to have some integrity about it. See, transparency does not seek approval of others. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to ask nobody what I feel about when I know in my heart I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Transparency is strength in Christ. Amen. See, the only way that you can be transparent, you got to come open. Right. God can give you that strength. You can't got that strength on your own because you want to shelter and hide and, and put away. But God will give you the boldness to be able to come out and say, Lord, I, I'm being transparent. Here amen, I am. Amen, Here I am. Amen. Take me as I, he said, you said, come as you are. Right. So I'm coming with all of my hurt, all of my pain, all oh my of my God. sickness, everything that I got. Lord, I'm leaning on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, to be real, we must open up before God. Amen. To expose our vulnerabilities. Mm. But when we come this way, he'll answer our prayers with his love. Amen. Huh? His love, his power, his might. Mm. See, church, it's time for us to get real if we want to get some real change in our lives Amen. and in the church life. Amen. If we are satisfied with things as usual, mm. <laughs> keep doing what you're doing. Amen. But if you want to experience this greater work, Jesus said in first on John 12, he said, greater work shall you do because I go to the Father. I sit the Holy Spirit. Yes. So, but in order for us to experience the greater work, we got to be real. Eh? Come on. Huh, you can't get God to change your life if you ain't real. real right. Lord, I ain't never did this. Huh. You ain't real. Man, you just lied to God. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he can't help you unless you what? Real. real. In our text today was an example of how not and how to be real in our text. Our text introduces us to two characters, and these characters are here that are introduced are two opposite. And, and one and said, and he spoke a parable to certain that trusted in themselves. Mm -hmm. See, you can't miss that part. He spoke a parable unto certain who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and another a uh, what publican. Yep. See, Jesus was trying to teach a lesson to this group of self-righteous church folk mm -hmm. with a lesson by exposing one of their own. Eh? See, the only way sometimes you can teach folk is teach folk out of their own. Mm -hmm. huh? Doesn't that sound for me? Yep. The greatest threat to church fellowship is self-righteous judgmental indignation. Mm -hmm. See, self-righteous indignation refers to this feeling 
of moral superiority. Come on I've with been it. in church all my life. Come on with you know, it. My daddy was a preacher. Come on you know, with I'm the it. second, third generation preacher yeah. in the family. Yeah. Don't mean a thing, does it? Yeah. And that's self-righteous indignation. Mm-hmm. See, the thing is, it often involves a, a sense of smugness. Have you ever talked to someone? Yeah. Smug, you know? smug. And beliefs of one's own righteousness. Mm-hmm. And this is the very audience that Jesus was trying to teach a lesson by using even one of their own. Yes, he was. It's about time to get what? Real, Real ain't it? Our first point is our mouths will expose who we really are. <laughs> yes, and without you even Oh, yeah. Tell our text said that this Pharisee stood up and prayed thus with himself. Listen to me. He prayed true. not to God. He prayed with himself. Oh. God, I thank you that I am not as these other men are. Yeah. They are extortioners and unjust and yes, adulterers and even this re- this old publican over here. I thought you said Republican. <laughs> this old publican over here. I fast <laughs> twice in a week and I give tithes of all I possess. Nice. See, the world nor the church has never been lacking in self-righteous folk. Mm. You can find them at the house. You can find them in the church. You can find them in the street, yeah. on the job. Self-righteous folk. The world ain't slack Mm-mm. in self-righteous people. Mm-mm. See, let folk talk long enough, and they will expose who they really are. Tell ain't that right? Look, on the inside. Mm-hmm. See, you can't listen to folk and, and, and know them on the outside. Yeah. But when you listen to folk, that's when the inside come out, ain't it? Uh, the issue started way back in the garden, ain't it? Uh, way back there with the serpent and Eve. What about Cain and Abel? Yeah. Lifting up and putting down. Mm. Every time you get folk, they're always what? Lifting Lift up folk up and or putting down, down other folk. We yeah. express ourselves that way by elevating and putting yeah. down yeah. other individuals or even the belief system. If yeah. we ain't talking about folk, we talking about the church or the faith or talking about something. Oh, wow. We talking about something. Oh, we do God. this, don't we? Yeah. So be real. Being real is not always the best thing. Right. <laughs> the Come real heart of this church man on, was revealed through his own words, ain't he? So he was real, won't he? Uh-huh. But his realness exposed who he was, ain't it? Uh-huh. So his being real exposed him, his inner feelings that he had about himself comparing himself to other folk. He rejoiced in the thought, fact that he won't like other church folk. Ain't this something? <laughs> I ain't like other church folk. No, I ain't like huh, Do I have any of them in the house? Yeah. Huh? Now this Pharisee thought that in his heart that he had it right. Yeah. Uh, ain't many of us like that? Huh? Yeah. He exalted himself and he put a whole list of folk down. Yeah. Look what he said. He thought his pride had some ups on these other folk. It, we, we, we've fallen into that same trap in church. I've had churches where they call on certain deacons to pray. Yeah. Or he can lift up a prayer. Yeah. See, how are you going to elevate him and think that he got the up the shift Come on, on man, God? preacher. Come huh? on, preacher. He got the up the shift, huh? huh? Can yeah. we think? We can think that, huh? We can yeah. think that. Can we determine which prayer God going to hear? Yeah. We well, let him preach. God going to hear his prayer. We don't man. know. Come on, man. The Bible warns us about this type of thinking. Yes, it does. He said that uh, 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 not to think so highly of yourself, yourself right? than you all to think. Huh? Right. See, all of us have, we've had or not because of any measure of our own, but by the grace of God, everything I got is because of his grace. Amen. We have no Thank right to Jesus. elevate or look down on anybody Amen. else's prayer life. You know, but this first three mouth exposed his self-righteous indignation. Yes, he had for himself toward others. Yes. Being real this way yes. is not the way to come to God, eh? Uh, you don't come to God saying that I, I, I'm the bishop. Yes, they do. <laughs> I'm the prophetess. Okay. You know? So ahead. our second point is our mouths can also justify. <laughs> Who we really are. Yes, they Our texture and the public can stand in the fall uh-huh. would not even lift up so much as his eyes under heaven, no. but smoke his chest and saying, God be merciful unto mm. me, a sinner. Mm. Huh, totally opposite to your church mm. man, eh? Yeah. He claimed his own righteousness, and, and this church man had claimed that he was righteousness and everybody else had downfallen, 
This man, instead of this self-righteous indignation, this man humbled himself. Mm -hmm. uh, before God, he smote his chest in a sense of total submission unto God. And this realness is expressed in the letter to John to the, uh, to the church of Laodicea. He says, I know your works, and mm -hmm. thou art neither cold nor hot. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? God said, you ain't hot, and you ain't cold either. Huh? He said that I would twerk. He said, I would that thou were cold or hot. Be one or the other. He said, so then, because you are lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I'm going to spew you out my mouth. Huh? Because thou said, I'm rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and know that thou art wretched. You're yes. miserable, Wretched. you're poor, yes. you're blind, yes. and you're naked. Ah. See, the church was rich in wealth, yeah. but poor in faith. The church was rich in stuff, yes. but it didn't have no uh, way of knowing that their dependency was totally upon God. Jesus. They were wretched, Rest. they were miserable, they yes. were poor, they were yes. blind and naked. Just didn't mean physically wretched, didn't mean physically miserable, didn't mean physically poor, blind, and naked, yeah. but spiritually Amen. ratchet, Rest. miserable, poor, yeah. blind, yeah. and naked. This is not the prosperous way of being real around God. No, See, not. the public had no expectations from society of any kind. According to society's expectation, mm -hmm. he was who he was. He was I a loser all was. around. But this man came with no titles above his name, but he came in total humility. Yes, Again, yes. I want to say, instead of self-righteous indignation, he humbled himself. Humbled him. And he wouldn't approach, he wouldn't look up, he just smote his chest in total submission to the mercies of God. Yeah. See, Romans 5 and 8 said, be, uh, But God committed his love to us that yet while we were still yet sinners, Sinner. Christ died for us. Yes, See, he once did. you make your profession of faith, God commends his love yes, he does. toward you mm -hmm. in total humility. Mm -hmm. uh, but the publican instead, he rested the fact that he was a sinner. Yes. And he was in need of God's mercy. Yes, Lord. See, this is the real way to come to God. Amen. Don't come to God expecting results. Right. Just come to God expecting his love and his mercy. Yes. Right. All God is looking for us to come to him with full transparency. Amen. To reveal all of our weaknesses. Right. To reveal our faults our vulnerabilities mm -hmm. and our total dependency on him. Lord, I can't make it without you. Yeah. Church folk, yeah. it's time for yeah. us to get real. Yeah. Right. God can't do what he do unless we open up. Yeah. Let's be vulnerable to God. Show him our weaknesses and everything that we do. God is able to do above yeah. and beyond anything that we could ever think or imagine. Mm -hmm. So as we yeah. close this morning, what are the results of being real? Our text said, I'll tell you, this man went down to the house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. See, to get real for results, we got to come clean. Mm -hmm. Y'all heard that, ain't Yeah. You got to come clean without exposing any details to your issue. See, we got to come, some folk want you to come clean by telling you everything. Come on now. Only thing I got to tell you is I'm hurting. Amen. Yeah. Huh? But we want to talk about what you're hurting about. Right. Yeah. What's going on? Give me the details so I can go tell somebody. Yeah. Amen. Huh? See, it doesn't matter how vested, vast the issue is. If we come clean, he will lift us up. First John live, 1, 9 and 10 says, if we confess our sin, he is faithful yeah. and just to forgive us yeah. of our sin yeah. and that we uh, we uh, and cleanse us from all of our unrighteous See, Forgiveness is good. Yeah. But cleanliness is what makes me to be able to face the next situation. Amen. Forgiveness took care of the old, old situation. Stuff. Yeah. But when he made me clean, yeah. he cleaned me from yeah. all unrighteousness. Yes, that did. helped me get ready for the uh, next, next situation yeah. so I don't have yeah. to fall again. See, Come on, being man. real with God means coming to him again, but in full confession, yeah, right. exposing yourself yes, to Lord. his righteous judgment. Yes, right. That no variance or respect to person. See, if you go to the judge, it's about how much you paid the lawyer. Mm -hmm. 
it, if you go to God, it's about how much you're real. Come on now. See, you, you ain't got to pay the lawyer to be real. Mm -mm. Huh? You don't have to not to pay the lawyer to be real. All but right. when you come before God, there is no variance in his. He has no respect to person. God will share his love in different measures. See? Yes, he will. God don't give everybody the same. Mm -mm. You know, some got 30 fold, some got 60 fold, some had 100 fold. Mm. But when you come to God, when you get your blessing, just be thankful. Amen. Yes, you got to, cause you can't spend nobody else's money no way. Thank you, Lord. Huh? See, Paul you. wrote to the church at Philippi, let this mind be in you, which is Thank also you. in Christ Jesus. See, Amen. we got to have the mind of God in order for us to be able to uh, uh, get that type of thinking so that we can be able to be a help to somebody else. God's expression of his love by Jesus accepting to die for our sin was what? Total submission. It's an example of how we should submit ourselves as we go through these hurts and, and these sorrows of the life. And I hope uh, by us looking into the mirror through the eyes of Christ that we can be able to see our need to be real. Amen. Huh? The adage, come as you are, I said earlier, mm -hmm. is the only way to come transparent. Mm -hmm. An empty picture, old folks said before, a full fountain. Come empty before God so that he can fill you up. Yeah, yeah. We come to church all full already. Ah. <laughs> we ain't going to say oh, boy. Boy. When we cry to God, pouring out all that is within us, he can yeah. fill our hearts up with his goodness, his mercy, and yeah. his love. Yeah. And the Bible says in Ephesians, even as Christ loved the church. He gave him a staff to it that it might be sanctified and cleansed with the washing of water by his word that he might present to himself or what? A glorious church without any spot or wrinkle. But in order for us to be that church without spot or wrinkle, we need to come real. Come on now. Come. Until we tell God what we dirty up, we mm -hmm. ain't going to clean that up. Right. He just waited for you to say I'm dirty. I'm dirty. Right. And then when you come dirty, see, to be real, we must humble ourselves and seek his mercy to bring us in full fellowship with the Father. I, I heard the old hint that said that there are some things that I may not know. Mm -hmm. There are some places that I can't go. I can't go. But I'm sure of one thing yeah. that my God, God is real. Is and I can feel it deep within. Yeah. Yes, my God is real. real. He's real down in my soul. my soul. My God is real. He's washed and he made me whole. Oh. His love for me is just like pure gold. Oh. Yes, my God is it's real fear. because I can what? Feel him down in my soul. So yes, we serve a real and a living God. Amen. But for us to be real, we got to humble ourselves before this mighty God. So let's get real. Let's quit being self-righteous. Mm -hmm. Let's be transparent in our prayers. And let's learn to humble ourselves before his presence. And it's time for us to be real. In order for us to be real, we got to expose our hurts, our pains, and our sorrows. Expose everything. Don't assume God is aware of our desires for him to heal us or to deliver us or to comfort us. I know he knows. He knows, but he says in his word, you lust and you have not. And, and you have not because you ask not. Right. See, we got to be able to come to God asking. We must ask in faith with the right motives, believing that he's able to deliver. And then we need to be real in our faith walk, in our talk, and in our prayer time. Let's get real in our devotion, in our commitment, even in our study of God's word. What about our prayer life? What about our outreach to others, in our giving, in our love for one another? We need to be real so that others will be impacted by what God is doing in our life. Amen. God is looking for some real folk that's real. not afraid to be standing up for him. Church, we need to get real because what God is looking for is a church that has no spots and no wrinkles. And the only way that we can get rid of our spots and wrinkles is to get real. Yeah. Once we get real with God, Come on. expose our vulnerabilities, yeah. all of our weaknesses, yeah. all of our hurts and our yeah. pain and all yeah. of our sorrow, yeah. then he can come in he can come and in. be able to fix this thing where you and I can be able to live. And then also we become a living testimony to Amen. somebody else. Because what you're going through, somebody Amen. else is going through. Amen. What you dealt with, somebody else, somebody else is dealing with. You know, where you've been, somebody else is already on the road heading that way. So what you can do is use your experience to be able to be a living witness right. to somebody that is going through life with the same struggles that you are. 
So what we need to do is to be real. Right. Go to God and find out what God can do. And then use that testimony to tell somebody else, hey, I went through with what you went through. And this is what God did for me. Did he heal me? No, but he made me to accept where I am. Amen. And once I accept where I am, then God can be able to do greater works. Amen. But until you accept where you are, right. and to be able to ask God to be able to come see by me. Mm -hmm. Let's get real. Be our be the one to expose all that you have, even the hidden sins that you have in your heart. Expose those things to God. Right. Then he will be able to give you the strength to overcome those things. Mm -hmm. I hope that we've had some encouraging words to somebody this mm -hmm. morning. Amen. All of us are going through. All of us have mm -hmm. felt the sting mm -hmm. of hurt. Amen. The sting of pain, the sting of, of misunderstanding. Uh -huh. But I serve a God that understands, ain't he? Amen. He understands us. And he feels our every pain. The scripture said that we ain't went through nothing mm -hmm. that Jesus didn't go through. Right. But he went through it, but he sinned not. Because we have now one that can stand in our stead. Christ can stand in our stead and he can be able to help us through this thing. Amen. Don't try to do this all by yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have a problem, you know, find you an accountability partner. Mm -hmm. See, black churches don't do a lot of that. Nope. But when you start looking at a lot of other churches, they have accountability partners. And that accountability partner is somebody that you can call. Amen. That's you can good. call when you're hurting. Mm -hmm. and, and that accountability partner been through with what you've been through. Amen. See, don't find an accountability partner that you're going to want to look down on you. <laughs> you want somebody you. that has some hurt, mm -hmm. but has some healing. Mm -hmm. You know, has some suffering, but has some joy. Amen. Somebody that has been through. Right. Not somebody can. I want to talk to somebody who's been what? Through. Right. When I had prostate cancer, I want to talk to somebody who's been through. Amen. I want to talk to somebody that got the same. I got the diagnosis just like you did, so you can't tell me nothing to help me through this. Right. But that individual that has been through it, mm -hmm. they can be able to tell me how God brought them through it. Amen. So utilize your testimony to help somebody else. Amen. God bless you. Let us bow. Father God, we do thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to be able to speak and to preach, to be able to let somebody know that they are not alone that God is with them. Mm -hmm. But also we have a church. We have a congregation of believers mm -hmm. all over this world, not held by denomination, not held by church membership, but brothers and sisters in Christ mm -hmm. that, that have suffered same life circumstances, mm -hmm. but they too can be a light to us. Lord, we thank you and we praise you in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. This morning we have Holy Communion. If you have any bread, juice, in your house, doesn't have to be communion bread, it doesn't have to be communion juice, because that's made by man, just like the other juice is, it just ain't in the bottle, but we have Holy Communion this morning it says in Selection 581 for I received the Lord which I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night which he is betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do it in remembrance of me. And after the same manner, he took the cup, and he had supped, and he said, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, and do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. And often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show forth the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, so whoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the blood in the body of the Lord. So let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of the bread and then drink of this cup. For he that eats and drinks and unworthily eats and drinks damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. So if we judge ourselves, we shall not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if in any hug, nor let him eat at home, that he come not together under condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. He said, let us bless the wine and the bread. Father God, we just thank
thank you, Heavenly Father, for the sacrifice that Jesus made on Calvary's cross. He made the sacrifice of his body and his shed blood. So we now take this bread and this juice that represent the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the shed blood on Calvary. We bless it right now, sanctify it, bless it that we might partake it now that represents you. Lord, we thank you and we praise you in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's see together. And said the juice represents his shed blood. Let us drink together. He said that they could not, they sang a hymn and went out into the Mount of Olives. But we don't have the Mount of Olives, but we do have the hedges and the highway. We have our homes, we have our uh, people that come in to be able to, to visit us. And so we want to go out and let them know about the salvation of Jesus Christ. Then when I was lost, Jesus died. Gethsemane, we don't have uh, those things to do, but we do have the world. Well, let's go out into the world and share Jesus Christ with them. Let's go out into them and introduce them to the risen Savior. God bless you. May heaven ever smile upon you. Amen.